Gaspard coming home in fifth place in front of sixth Lars Lamborel. So Jonathan Hoggard from pole only managed fifth place in this one in the first race. Alessandro Trombelli from the front row only man managed ninth place. So it hasn't gone so well this morning for all of the front row drivers. I uh, have to say Andreas Backman from pole did win the DD2 race from pole position, but uh, had some good racing in juniors and seniors. It's not all cut and dry, not by any means. Okay, Jonathan Hoggard is in your shot on pole position and he's cart number 300 to the left of screen. 301 is Alessandro Trombelli joining Jonathan on the front row. We're coming now onto the home straight. It's a 13 lap race for these seniors. Here we go. Well, Jonathan Hoggard getting a good start and also Alessandro Trombelli who looks over to his right, but Trombelli not trying to force the issue. Koki Mizuno jumping into second place. Alessandro Trombelli happy to just slot it. Oh, and we've had some contact at about uh, the middle 10 and one of the drivers, oh, we're lucky to have avoided more contact than we've had. We've had five separate pieces of contact, four of the drivers not going. Well, make that three, but one of them try and get a look, look at the number I think that it might be cart 298 is it cart number 298 is Harrison Thomas so uh, he and the three drivers behind him going to be struggling to get a good result out of this one on the other hand from pole position Jonathan Hoggard made a decent start on this one but 301 is Alessandro Trombelli who you saw in screen there and that's how they go across the uh, start of the finish, uh, sorry I didn't call uh, Koki Mizuno in the lead, that's how they go across the start finish line. Koki Mizuno having led Jonathan Hoggard and Alessandro Trombelli and apologies to the Japanese fans not having uh, called his name at the front. Nicholas Sherl fourth and Jordan Brown Nutley in fifth place at the moment. Alex Fuoco running six, Lars Lamborel seventh. Good drive uh, by Oliver Rasmussen, cart number 238. He's in eighth place. And cart 299, 299 Javier Gonzalez in ninth. Scott Simmons going to be perhaps a little disappointed not to have made some place there. Started in P9, running in P10, but plenty of time left. And that uh, is cart number 290, was it? If it's 290, it's Fred Erickson. If it was 299, it was Javier Gonzalez. So, Javier Gonzalez doesn't show on my screen. So it may well have been he. Jonathan Hoggard, having taken the lead back from Mizano. Uh, cute Koki Mizuno, not Mizano, that's a racetrack. And the change of lead again because Jonathan Hoggard, Koki Mizuno and Nicholas Sherl, the one, two and three with Mizuno now having gone back in front. Mizuno leading from Hoggard. This is lap three. Just trying to get a fix from Mawinda. Hoggard is back in front, isn't he? Yes, there we are in front of us, 300. Hoggard, Mizuno and Sherl. Hoggard and, and again a change and trading places big time. The front running three are Jonathan Hoggard, number 300, Koki Mizuno, 281, and Nicholas Sherl, 216, was that? 300 in the lead, two one, uh, 300 in the lead, Jonathan Hoggard, 216, Nicholas Sherl, and 281, Koki Mizuno. I just explained to you that we'd have a few blind spots on the commentary box, can't see the whole of the circuit. And uh, when, we choose, uh, when we change camera angles on the screens, uh, the pictures on screen, we do just have a few blind spots, hence we can't claim to be seeing the whole of the track for the whole of the time. Just having a look uh, to see who's uh, suffered, Scott Simmons was one of those early drivers with a problem because he's dropped out of the top 20. Scott Simmons, who went particularly well in the earlier stages, we're on lap five of 13. Jonathan Hoggard leading from Nicholas Sherl. That's Great Britain in front of Austria. 
and Italy in the shape of Alessandro Ciombelli. Both Jonathan Hoggard and Alessandro Ciombelli doing a lot better than in race one. Jonathan Hoggard leads, whereas in race one, he finished in fifth place. Alessandro Trombelli is in third place, whereas he finished in ninth place. And Nicholas Schurl, a little bit more, uh, what shall we say, circumspect. He finished in seventh place previously, running in second place now. So quite a change round of fortunes. Heading up towards the half race distance, Charlie Anderson and Javier Gonzalez gone out. Javier Gonzalez was what the one that uh, we did call as the guy who took a touch. Wasn't 100% sure at the time, but the timing screen confirming that Javier Gonzalez from Mexico, really unfortunate that you come all the way from Mexico and go out one of your races, but it's one of three heats, so all is not lost. We're on lap six of 13. Oliver Rasmussen and Berkai Besler go up to 7th and 8th. Berkai Besler 7th, Oliver Rasmussen 8th, and it was Lars Lamborell who slipped down to 9th. No other changes in the top 10. Felix Varga of Belgium, having got himself into the top 10, hadn't spotted that move. Now, Kokim Mizuno has gone past Alessandro Trombelli in 3rd place. So now it's Jonathan Hoggard 1, Nicholas Schurl 2, Koki Mizuno 3, Alessandro Trombelli and completing the top five is cart number 252. 252 is Jordan Brown Nutley. Coming up to the half race distance, six and a half laps gone, six and a half to go. And Jonathan Hoggard's lead at the end of the previous lap was 0.487, so very nearly half a second, which is only the time in which you blink your eye, or less than the time in which you blink your eye, but in Kart racing terms is a significant advantage. Coming over in front of us, he's actually raised that a little bit from 0.487 to 0.520. So for what it's worth, Jonathan Hoggard just increasing his lead a little bit over Nicholas Schurl. Alex Fuoco in third place though, still under pressure from his fellow Italian Alessandro Trombelli. They're running third and fourth, Alex and Alessandro and Koki Mizuno drops to fifth place, the Japanese driver. I think that's the lowest that we've seen uh, Koki Mizuno in the race. He started on the inside of row two and was very quickly in second place behind Jonathan Hoggard at the start of the race. That seems a while ago now. Jordan Brown Nutley in fifth place because Koko Mizuno, who we've been speaking about, has spilled another place down to six. So just at the moment, the Japanese boat is leaking a little bit. It's leaked enough places to drop him to sixth. Berkai Besler seventh, Oliver Rasmussen eighth, Felix Vorge, the Belgian driver up to ninth, and Lars Lamborel just holding on to a top 10 position in 10th place. The Israeli driver, Ido Cohen, gains a place and is now knocking on the, no he hasn't, he's been overtaken. He's been overtaken by cart number 287, which is Univaris. Patrick Runquist in the bottom lower order of the top 20 just gains a place at the expense of Kevin Kemmeling. Scott Simmons still got a lot of work to do. When I last looked, he was 21st, now he's 19th, but still a lot of work to do to get a decent position out of this. We're on lap 9 of 13. Jonathan Hoggard's lead is 0.837 and therefore a comfortable lead. However, in second place, far from comfortable, they're trading places because uh, Alex Fuoco has just gone past Nicholas Schurl. Let's double check that. Yes, Alex Fuoco in cart number 275, Nicholas Schurl 216. Well, now I think they've re retraded places back. There's six drivers behind the race lead who are really, really close. And uh, one or two changes of place, all of which really falls into the hands of Jonathan Hoggard because while they're doing that, he just builds on his lead. And his lead now is well over a dozen cart lengths. So it really is the race behind for second to about 12th. Jonathan Hoggard's lead will be over a second now, surely. The lead is over two seconds, 2.07 for Jonathan Hoggard. So on lap 11, the race is Jonathan Hoggard's to lose from here. He's got two full seconds advantage. 
Alex Fuoco second. He's just past Nicholas, or on lap 10, past Nicholas Sherl third. Jordan Brown Nutley been climbing on each of the last three laps. He's up to fourth. Koki Mizuno, who'd been falling a little bit like a, a lead balloon, is now climbing back, gone up to fifth place. And Alessandro Trombelli, who I remind you started. Now a slow board being shown. Have we got a slow board out? Yes, we have. So what incident have I not spotted? Well, there's a cart down at the inside of uh, the second lap and on lap two. And it's a red flag situation, is it? It's a red flag. We are red flagged. We are red flagged because that cart off turn two is in a place of danger. So the race is being brought to a halt. A red flag on lap 11 of 13. So a red flag on lap 11 of 13 brings the drivers down to virtually walking pace or a little bit more than walking pace. But as you can see at the top of the circuit, the driver and cart just off the fast apex of turn two in very much a dangerous position. He's okay where he is, but uh, if a cart had have gone off and plowed into either the driver or the cart, that would have made added danger and therefore driver safety paramount and a red flag comes out. Well, let me read to you the positions. Just let me read you the positions at the end of lap 10 which was the last completed lap, and this may be the declared result. I say to you now, this is not the declared result, but it may well be the declared result. Jonathan Hoggard, one. Alex Fuoco, two. Nicholas Schurl, three. Jordan Brown Nutley, four. Koki Mizuno, five. Alessandro Trombelli, six. Berkai Besler, seven. Felix Wadja, the Belgian had got up to eighth. Oliver Rasmussen up into ninth place and Lars Lamborel in tenth. Just behind Lars Lamborel outside the top ten, Ido Cohen was eleventh, Una Varis twelfth, Adam Vinci thirteenth, Michael Stepinski fourteenth and Michele Candela completing the top 